Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS ROG GL551 or the complete model is a GL551JM-DH71. That information can be found on the bottom sticker. And in this, this is an iCore 7 4th gen and people are like, okay, mine is really slow. You can really turn around and boost the performance on this laptop dramatically by replacing the mechanical drive that it comes in here with a solid state drive. I'll leave the good solid state drive brand in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. You can put up to four terabyte solid state drive, but I would say two terabyte is the best. Or if you want to replace the mechanical drive to a new one, you can do it. Just remember by replacing the storage in here, you have to back up your files for an external drive. And then once you have the new drive in there installed, solid state or mechanic one, you want to install your Windows freshly installed from the USB drive. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also, I made another video how to properly install it on your Asus laptop or any laptop. Follow the instruction on a step by step so you don't get those extra bloatware installed. All right, with all this set, we're just going to open it up and show you guys how to remove the storage and how to replace them. So first thing first, back up your files and turn off the laptop. Once it's powered off, remove the battery if you want to, not need to, but to be safe, just disconnect it. Grab yourself a screwdriver. I'll use the iFix screwdriver set. And we're gonna grab the Phillips number one. You're gonna remove the two screws right on the service cover right in here. Once we remove that one here, we're gonna slide the cover towards yourself about half a centimeter and then lift it up. And the hard drive is right in here. It's been held down by three screws. The fourth one goes from the bottom cover here. So we're gonna remove these three screws that holds the caddy. The caddy is the metal bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So remove these three screws. Now we're gonna grab this flip thing in here, lift it up a little bit, and then pull it towards the, about 35 degree up, and then pull it towards the left side. Don't yank it all the way up, otherwise you're gonna break the connector here. Next, you wanna remove the caddy. This is a hard drive, it's about one terabyte. Western Digital or HGST, Western Digital purchased the SGN HGST brand. So here we have a Kingston uh, storage in here. So what we need to do, we need to remove this four screws on the caddy right in here. Also, if you guys like my video, if you want to support, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. Right, once we remove the screws, you want to make sure the orientation of the connector is like that. Grab this one, make sure you have the same orientation. Remove the hard drive, put this one right in there. It doesn't matter if it's a low profile, it goes in. You have a little more space in here, so that's no issue. Uh, grab the screws and just put it right on top on the side. Now you have the screws in place. All you want to do, you want to bring it down in almost 35 degree angle. Make sure this hook stays over. And you want to slide it right inside the connector. Work it around, it goes in and then set it down. And then you want to put the three screws, except the one in the corner in here, on the caddy. But once you have that one in there, just grab the bottom power. Set it in an offset position and then you want to slide it toward the mid and then put the rest of the screws. And again, if you wanna know how to create your Windows USB boot drive, follow the link in my video description, and follow another video that I made how to install Windows properly without having any uh, bloatware installed in your system. All right. In this one, I do have a Windows installed, I believe, but I don't have battery. Let me see if it does have any charge on it. It does not have any charge. So let me get the charger for this one and we're gonna power it on it powers on the screen is a little bit dirty so we have to clean up the screen i see the logo the windows logo and there we go we are inside the desktop and there we have it again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you want to if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.